Uh, the, the uniqueness of, of uh, this uh, whole business is that the, the baseline is needed, and is needed in every company, and everybody understands that the ISO and the certifications and the UL, although are needed. But I think that you need to go a little bit, a little bit farther than that. For example, the, the, you, you need to, to define a resolution, okay? What you're going to do when a product is not quite what the customer uh, needs. Uh, so if, if, you, if you're making packs for buses, right, uh, the idea that an overcharge on the cell will blow up the pack, and you know, you, you can put one system, one safety system, two safety systems, three safety systems, or whatever, and the chances that that will not happen are very small. But in the end, the customer wants the cell not to blow up when overcharged. And, and that's the objective. And as a manufacturer, as a product developer, that is the object, the number one objective is to meet those goals. And today, uh, our basically uh, debate, if you will, right, is, uh, you know, in the iron phosphate we are very good, but in the nickel cobalt manganese is how far do you allow to overcharge, right? And the whole system is, do you sell all the cells, or do you only sell cells when you sell your safety system, right? And all those are resolutions that a company has to take to, to, to mitigate the, the requirements. Then, uh, you know, you, you, you have to, to do this thing from an economical perspective, right? So if money was not a problem, you know, we could develop all kinds of quality systems and all kinds of checks and balances and whatnot. But the reality here is that in the end, you know, the company has to make a couple of dollars. Otherwise, you know, we, we, we go away. So... In order to lower the costs, and, and, and I, I really think that this is key, uh, the water-based system or the water-soluble binders application in this, it makes a huge impact. Today, I believe that we can make from the lithium-ion to the ultra-capacitor everything in a water-based system. And basically, if we manufacture green, we can manufacture anywhere in the United States. And that's important. Uh, the chemistry agnostic, we think that we have a comprehensive alternative to the PVDF and MP system. Uh, we, we have a, a, a solution that we, we believe that for bulk energy storage system and uh, for example, for the uh, energy dominant uh, motive applications, we, we, we definitely have a, a, a solution. And we definitely hope that sometime in the future there are a couple of prominent scientists in this field that believe in water based. Uh, Dr. Amin from Hydro Quebec. Is, he, he really uh, has done some real work on this, um, on this type of, of chemistry. And we actually we hope uh, and we believe that we will achieve a significant development of uh, uh, people or labs, uh, scientific uh, uh, community that will involve the development of uh, lithium ion with uh, water soluble binders. And we definitely have 
if you look at the whole business of lithium ion today, and I think I've been in it since 1991, so I, I think I know manufacturing of lithium ion. If you would look at the entire scope of things, if we believe that we have to vertical integrate the manufacturing to achieve the, the cost targets that are imposed, the water-based system definitely has the best, uh, the best chance of getting there. Because, you know, I, I, and again, I'm a little biased, right? But I think that the, the business with the, the NMP is like this. The, the bigger the factory is, the closer it is Chevron to moving into your backyard. Okay, it, it's, it's that simple because, you know, there are people that believe that, you know, really you, you can use NMP and then you can take the residual of the NMP and you can burn it as a fuel, right? And basically you, you bring a power station, you put it next, and somehow you arrange to use that. But the ability of purifying the NMP in the system, that's a witch. And uh, pretty much, you know, we, 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 I could go into a little bit more of the, the basically, the, the little selling of these uh, water-based slurries and uh, how we do it. But this, this is not so important. Most of the companies know how to do this. It's just that the, uh, the focus should be on developing manufacturing systems that, that are unique to the, uh, to the lithium ion and not to trying to bring some manufacturing system that we believe would work. I got involved into this business of coding lithium ion because I was an expert in magnetic media. And let me tell you the difference. Magnetic media, we run the line 24 hours a day, 900 feet a minute, and we rarely have any problems. Some companies run 98% yield in making audio tape. The lithium ion, you are lucky if you get into the tens of feet per minute. Okay? The stuff is horrible to coat. A lot of the batches go into the drain. It's a completely different system. We cannot use the same equipment. And today, you know, we, we can sit over here and claim who has good, who has bad, and what not. But I think that the approach International Battery took and the chance they gave me to somehow follow this is the proper approach. You, um, you say 10%. I mean, that has enormous implications for deployment in terms of, you know, I mean, in other words, you're, let's say you have 100 units and you're going to be wasting another, you know, a gigantic block of materials or recycling them in order to produce 100. Well, to produce 1,000, then that produces... 10 times as much waste material. I, but I, I think that when you vertical integrate, you will re, I mean, today, today most, of, most of the companies that make the, the, the small wound cells uh, operate between 60 and 70 percent yield. So the yield, the, the, the manufacturing yields between 60 and 70 percent. And then, and then you can get the, you know, most of the other stuff you sell to toys or whatnot, right? But, but, but my point is, is let, if you, let's say you need 100,000 times as much as you're doing right now, in other words, to satisfy all the different possible uh, The waste stream. stream is huge. Right. That's, 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 that's an unbelievable waste stream. That's why we cannot use the same part. I mean, you, you, don't, you, don't, you don't have to count the waste stream. You, 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 you just need to count that you will have uh, hundreds of lines coding that need to be clean 
that the, two, the, the piping needs to be emptied when you stop, right? That every time a system has a failure, you will have to clean up the line when the film bro breaks for whatever reason, okay? And all of this today with NMP is a waste stream. This, 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 this again, it looks great, right? But we, we, in order to implement the, the significant increase in lithium ion in this country, the amount of work that needs to go into manufacturing development is significant. We, we, we investing all the money we invest in, we invest in manufacturing. I have a question on your, uh, your water process, your, your water-based slurry. Uh, I know that with, with the companies that use um, NMP, it probably, the drying process is probably fairly fast. Now, if I talk to Sankar Das Gupta at ElectroVia, uh, he'll say that he doesn't want to use a known carcinogen so he, got, he uses a dry process, makes lithium uh, cells with, uh, with, with a dry process. Almost dry, yeah. And so does Maxwell. But the question I have on, uh, on this is, what, what's the, tr the process time to your drying ovens? So if, is, it, if it, is it a lot longer than NMP or? Uh, no, if, if, you want to, if you wanted to believe, uh, if you wanted to, to hear a little bit about the, the saga of drying, so the problem with the problem with with uh, the problem with lithium ion and the thickness of the electrode is actually related to the fact that the solvents the, the, the NMP evaporates too fast. So if you build if you have to shrink the material in evaporation, it, it evaporates so fast it cracks. So you, you are limited to the Sony 100 micron thickness that everybody for a long period of time tried to coat thicker to beat their energy density. And then they found out that you cannot go much thicker. It's because it, 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 you would have to actually cool down the material while in the process. With the water-based, you don't have that problem. That's a good point. So if we wanted to make a, a, a higher energy 